I think this room does say that you can do a lots of imaginative things um, in, in, in the fabric of an old building. I think this kind of room is brilliant for the students because depending on their abilities and particularly their uses of technology, they've got the freedom to take it as far as it will go. They, they go wow when they go into the space, so it lifts them. Um, and they feel good about themselves and about their learning. It's easier to learn because you're excited to learn. You like every every single time in our class, we were going to go in here, and when she says, "Oh, we're not coming to learn new learning space," I go, "Oh." I like the pods because they're soundproof, and then you can like work without anybody having to be disturbed. Like when you close it, you can't hear nothing at all. Soundproof. You can only, yeah, you can only hear yourself, and there's lights for you to if it's dark. Plug in your laptop and that. Yeah. It's good because it's a, quite a relaxed environment, um, so it suits all the different types of kids in different ways. You've got our own space to work, you don't have to like listen to all people who are irritating you, you can walk yeah. away from them people. I have absolutely no doubt the responses I've been given from students that they really value um, a learning space like this and that enables us to think about and plan both for teachers and for students, how we're going to teach and learn in the future. So the environment and furniture makes a really big difference to that. I think the furniture uh, works really well somewhere like this because again, I'm keep using the word options, but that's what it's about, because it takes a lot of the conflict out of trying to deliver an idea or trying to get the students to feed back to you because they don't have to sit ramrod straight on a chair and keep still. What you see today is exactly what we had on those sketches and plans. So it's really quick, really efficient, um, and enabled us to deliver a project very rapidly.